Welcome back to another low production video. We're going to be making artisanal pretzels. This is gonna take you about three hours. Start with a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of yeast, a cup of flour, two tablespoons of softened butter, a cup of lukewarm water, and a teaspoon of salt. Stir that all up in a mixer until it's decently smooth. It doesn't have to be crazy mixed together. Then you're gonna leave it alone for a while until the yeast starts to bubble. That should take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your yeast. Then you're gonna add one more cup of flour. Mix all the flour in. You can use the guard that comes with the stand mixer. I had it off for the video and the flour went everywhere. Once that's mixed in, you can add your third cup of flour. I dropped the camera while I was doing it so you can't see that part and then just mix it together. It should come out like this. Use a rubber scraper to get the dough off of the bread hook and then form it into a ball. Now you can cover the bowl in plastic wrap or just a towel and set it aside until it rises to double the height. Once the dough has risen, lay it out on a flat surface. Don't be an idiot like me, flour your surface before you put the dough on. You'll see how it sticks to the board as I'm trying to bring it up, there you go. Roll the dough in the flour a little bit so it gets less sticky and then start to break off some pieces to make your rods. I think I'm gonna show you at this point how big of a piece I used and you can use whatever size you want, doesn't matter. The only real important thing is that your pretzels are all the same thickness so that they bake evenly. Once you do the initial rolling out, just let them sit for about five minutes and come back to them. They'll be a lot easier to work with. At this point, I've let them sit for about five minutes and now I'm just reshaping them to make them all about the same size. Now you're gonna wanna fold them into pretzel shapes. I haven't done this in a while, so I lost the trick of the flip. You can see that if you look close, but whatever. It's not gonna affect the taste of the pretzel if you try to do it six times. I needed to say this earlier, but I didn't have any time in the video. If you don't have softened butter, just put your butter in the microwave for 10 seconds, it's fine. Once you're done shaping them out, let them sit again for five minutes and they kind of get used to their shapes. Then we're gonna add some water underneath the knots. That way the knots stay attached to the bottom of the pretzel when we boil them. Once you're done with that, get a large pot, fill it with about five cups of water and sprinkle in some baking soda. The amount doesn't really matter. I'd say anywhere between five tablespoons and half a cup is fine. Now that the pretzels have been sitting for the entire time the water's been boiling, you wanna stretch out the holes and get your mind out of the gutter. Now we're gonna drop them in the boiling water and baking soda mixture and boil on each side for one minute. There's two important steps that a lot of people will skip when making homemade pretzels. This is one of them, and it's the reason that a lot of homemade pretzels are crap. Once they've boiled for one minute on each side, you wanna get them out of the pot with a strainer. If you don't have a strainer, you can use a slotted spoon. It's a little harder, and make sure you get as much of the water off as you possibly can. I like to use parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, just use a greased up baking sheet. It's not gonna make a huge difference. All right, at this point, I think you get it. You don't need to see me constantly putting the pretzels into the water, but I needed this little bit of the video to tell you about the second thing that people screw up when they make homemade pretzels. You gotta do an egg wash. To do that, just crack an egg in two or three ounces of water and scramble it up like you're making scrambled eggs. Before you do the egg wash, it's a good idea to pick the pretzels off of the parchment paper in case they were sticking from excess water. Next thing you wanna do is paint on your egg wash. If you don't have a brush like this, just use your hand, no one's gonna know. The water and baking soda boil is what gives it the crust and the egg wash is what gives the crust the shine. You can let me know in the comments how disgusting these look at this point. Okay, we're gonna salt the pretzels using coarse salt. Don't look for kosher salt. All salt, as far as I know, is kosher. You need coarse salt or pretzel salt. Then they're ready to go in the oven. Here's how they look after about 10 minutes. At this point, I like to take them out and try to scrape them off the parchment paper. Especially if you're not using parchment paper, they will definitely stick to the pan. You do not want to skip this step. For those of you who maybe aren't too observant, I'm going to point out that I am wearing an oven mitt because I don't want you to burn yourself. Here's how they look 10 minutes after going back into the oven. This is 20 minutes after that, so at this point they've been baking for a total of 40 minutes at 475 degrees. Alright, and here they are, the final product. And it only took about 3 hours. Check out my finger in the top left. Feel free to leave me a comment telling me what I did wrong and how your pretzels are so much better. Thanks for watching, I'm Salmonella. And if you want to buy your very own Salmonella cooking apron, a self-portrait I did for my comedy channel, Reviews in Oz, Check the link in the description.